Lev, a win with the black pieces at a very crucial stage of the tournament. Uh, give us your thoughts on the game today. Uh, it was an opening that uh, one time we took a look with, uh, with our national team. And uh, it seems kind of interesting. Uh, black is playing slow, he's underdeveloped, but uh, the fact that white's knight is so misplaced on d2 gives uh, black uh, decent chances of equalizing. And then I felt uh, I got a slightly better position and uh, my opponent had very little time. So I managed to transfer my pieces to the squares that I wanted. And I think the lack of time was a big factor. Now your opponent played an interesting idea when he put his rook to d5, which looks like it can be taken by the bishop, and you didn't take it for a long time. Can you explain that uh, to our viewers, uh, why you didn't capture the rook for, such a, for so many moves? Uh, it was an un unexpected idea, a very good idea. And uh, because uh, if I captured, then, I mean, it does make sense to capture because his pawns are not really going forth. But uh, the reason that I didn't capture is more uh, psychological because uh, my opponent has very little time. And once you capture, he knows what to do. So I wanted to keep him guessing. So, but uh, white gets those strong pawns if you capture. So, and then the rooks are losing their strength because none of my rooks have an open file. So that's why I didn't capture. Now you're playing against a young player from India. What is it like to play against all these strong youngsters who um, come and play in this tournament with the aim to play against the world's elite players like you? How do you feel about that? Well, it's very exciting. I mean, I get to play against kids who are uh, in a different league at the age that, I mean, at that age, I, I was barely learning how to castle, you know, and I, I see those guys are playing fantastic chess and uh, it's, it gives me a good feeling um, because I'm optimistic about the future of our game if we have so many uh, promising juniors uh, in today's chess. Now, do you feel that uh, uh, you, it's, we're, in, we're going into round seven? After playing all these games, do you think that you missed playing in open tournaments? How's your feeling been so far playing in an open event after so long? Do you feel like you missed, uh, you missed it and it's something that you want to come back to at some point? It's a very different uh, feel because when I used to play open tournaments, guys who were, I mean, rated below 2,600 were, you know, very pleasant to play against. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not the case. Uh, I think the general level of chess has uh, raised, uh, is raising, uh, rising, sorry. And uh, it's, it's very tough. I mean, I'm losing lots of rating and I understand it's, uh, the reason for it, I, I should be losing much more. Uh, the reason why I'm losing so little is because I get lucky. I still get some respect. <laughs> Tell us a little more about this uh, statement that you still get some more respect. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I was losing yesterday. Husman played, uh, I mean, a great idea. And then I felt, OK, it's going to be a draw. So let's go for it. And then I realized I'm losing. but. I saw that there were some chances to repeat the moves. So that's what I mean. The respect uh, is there. Right. Now, yesterday you were also playing the Battle of the Sexes. Was it your first time participating in this event? Yes. And uh, with our great leader, Nigel Short, we prevailed. <laughs> he's, he's an expert on the ladies, so he told us all the secrets. He knows all their weaknesses and all their strengths. That's what I think. And how was your experience? Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I realized that uh, it's harder for the girls because they're wearing high heels. So we should do something about it, you know? Maybe men should wear kilts or something, you know, to compensate. I'm going to pass that suggestion to our tournament director for next year. Now we've got four crucial rounds ahead of us. Um, any change or any idea of how you're going to go ahead? Any change in strategy from what's been going on previously? How do you think things are going to change? Well, I finally played 
not a terrible game, so that's quite a change. And I look forward to be repeating the same, uh, having the same experience of playing normal chess. So probably it was a good practice that you got at the Battle of the Sexes last night. Yeah, I got substituted and this was like a wake-up call. You got fired from your team in round three. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, we wish you all the best for the remaining games and look forward to having you back in our studio. Thank you very much.